Magnus Ryle received a message from extraterrestrials of such importance that it has already begun to change our world today. It has now circulated around the planet and the books describing this extraordinary encounter have been published in over 25 languages, making bestsellers several times over. There are to date over 60,000 people preparing for the return of our parents from space. It was these extraterrestrials who created life on Earth, including humans in their image. In fact, the word Elohim really means those who come from the sky in ancient Hebrew and not God. On December the 13th, 1997, His Holiness Rail received yet another message from our creators, the Elohim. In this message, it was revealed that if we remove the mysticism from Buddhism, we are left with the Raelian philosophy, and that from now on many Buddhists would become Raelians. Being inspired by this new message, the Raelian movement decided to research the relationship between Buddhism and Raelianism. In the book, The Message Given by Extraterrestrials, it explains that a mark appeared on His Holiness Ryle's arm on July the 31st, 1975, shortly after he witnessed a UFO in Perigord, France. This mark started as three small circles inside a larger one, and 15 days later turned into two concentric circles. In Buddhism, this mark of three small circles is called the Three Treasures. This mark of the Three Treasures can be found not only in Buddhist temples and artifacts, but also in many other religions from around the world. There is another symbol that is related to Buddhism. This symbol is used to indicate Buddhist temples on almost all of the maps found throughout Asia and it appears in the majority of Buddhist temples on the Asian continent. This symbol is the swastika. The swastika is a symbol of Buddhism. It's also part of the Elohim symbol engraved on the side of the UFO which His Holiness Ryle saw during his first encounter with them in 1973. On the UFO, the swastika is set in the center of the symbol which we now know as the Star of David. The swastika represents perpetual transformation of everything in the universe, and the Star of David represents infinity in space. The triangle pointing up represents the infinitely large universes which we're a part of, while the triangle pointing down refers to the infinitely small universes within the subatomic particles of our own level, including us. The understanding of the universe as it is described in the messages given by the Elohim to His Holiness Rael is exactly the same as the Buddhist view of the universe. And this is natural because as His Holiness explains in his books, Buddha was also a messenger of the Elohim, as was Moses, Jesus, Muhammad and many others. We can find traces left by the Elohim all throughout Asia. Therefore, a few Raelians decided to form a team to further research the relationship between Buddhism and the Elohim's message. The Raelian team travelled to Beijing, Donhuang and Turapan, located at the foot of the Tian Shan range, and to Thailand and India too. What they found were wall paintings filled with depictions of UFOs, especially on the temple walls in Turapan and Don Huang. Here we see a statue found in Tibet. When the Raelian team arrived in Thailand, they also found some ancient Buddhist paintings full of drawings of UFOs. The team also went to Japan. The Elohim revealed to their last prophet, Rael, that thousands of years ago, they operated a laboratory in the Japanese island. An area near Hiroshima, known as Nogakogen, appears to be the most likely place where this ancient laboratory was located. According to local history, a god from the sky lived in a temple in Nogakogen thousands of years ago. The team climbed the mountain to study this temple. What they found 
was a glass case located in a room made of huge stones. They were surprised to discover what the god that people had been worshipping looked like. The mark carved on the stone is very similar to the Rylian symbol. As we can see, there are many artifacts in Asia that relate to the Raelian movement. In Buddhism, it is predicted that a new Maitreya will appear in a country ruled by the rooster king 3,000 years after the death of Buddha. The messages transmitted to His Holiness Rael by the Elohim in 1973 announce that Rael is this new Maitreya from the West. Then, is Rael the real Maitreya from the rooster country, as it is predicted in Buddhism? Buddhism started in India and spread to China via Don Huang. By the time it reached Korea and Japan, the journey was so long that it had changed considerably from its original form. This may be why the southern branch of Buddhist dating system is different from the northern branches. In 1962, Buddhists held a world convention to discuss this problem. Finally, the southern branch's dates were adopted by all, and henceforth, the official Buddhist dating system became unified. For example, the Christian year 2003 corresponds to the Buddhist year 2547. However, according to the northern branches dating system based on King Asoka's monument, the Christian year 2003 corresponds to the Buddhist year 3030. The Maitreya is supposed to appear during the Buddhist year 3000. Now according to the northern branch, this corresponds to the Christian year 1973, precisely the same year that His Holiness Ryle received the messages from the Elohim. Some may argue that the new Maitreya should appear in Korea because the ancient name for Korea is Shila or Rooster Forest, as it was named after the first king who was born there. But nowadays, nothing in Korea relates to the rooster either as a country emblem or anything else. Korea's symbol has always been the bear and has never been the rooster. On the other hand, the rooster has been known as a symbol of France for many generations. It's the symbol of their pride. French people used to be called Gaulois, which comes from the word Gaul, which means rooster. The country of the rooster must therefore be France. And that is precisely where His Holiness Ryle was born in 1946. At that time, France was ruled by a king whose name also refers to the rooster, Charles de Gaulle. The Buddhist prophecy tells us that the truth will be revealed 3,000 years after Buddha's death. And when this happens, a new Maitreya will appear in the country of the rooster in the West after seven days. The prophecy came true when His Holiness Ryle received the message from the Elohim during six consecutive days in the crater of a volcano, Clermont-Ferrand, central France, in 1973, year 3000 after Buddha. On the seventh day, he had been transformed into the new Maitreya, as prophesied. The last prophet of the Elohim, His Holiness Ryle, is therefore the Maitreya from the West, whom all Buddhists have been waiting for. The new Maitreya for humanity, the last prophet, His Holiness Rael, is looking for a place to build an embassy here on earth to welcome our creators, the Elohim. Every religion predicts the coming of a last prophet to build the third temple and guide humanity into a new era of peace and happiness, be it the Maitreya, the Mahdi, the Paraclete or the Messiah. The country that provides the land to build this embassy will become the spiritual and scientific centre of the world for millennia to come. The people who recognise the Elohim as our creators and wish their return on earth will be the true pioneers of paradise, the architects of the golden age. Hmm. 
So it all ties in together now, huh? Now I kept I kept bringing this up, and I want I wanted to wait to uh to you guys saw that video. Now you understand why Hitler had all his uh, expeditions back in the 30s and 40s over there to the to the uh, to India, you know, to the east as he called it. You know, because these people, they had the same knowledge that Nimrod had, you see. And then it was after that, Hitler came back, and then he, you know, the Germans invented the jet. You know, then they had the advent of the nuclear bomb and all of that stuff. There was from the from about the time of the 40s all the way up until now, you've had an explosion of technology. Whereas before, they were flying, you know, pr propeller-driven airplanes. You know, they still had helium balloons. And now, just think, man, what is that, 40, 60 years, 60 years ago? Now we have cell phones so small and all this technology. Where is it coming from? As a matter of fact, the uh, aliens, quote-unquote, that Hitler came in contact with, that's where he got the idea of the perfect Aryan race because these fallen ones knew how to appeal to him. They came, they came to him in the image of the tall, blonde-haired, blue-eyed, perfect human. You know what I'm saying? With the piercing blue eyes and the, and the blonde hair. You know, white. And that's how, how he got his idea of the perfect race. You know, because they were genetically superior. You know, and that's why he sought to eradicate or get rid of, you know, most of the people when he himself was a quote-unquote Jew. A lot of those quote-unquote Jews were, you know, persecuting their own people, so to speak. You know? And I mean, as the, the, the term Holocaust itself only means sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? And then they didn't kill six million people. I'm here to tell you right now, that's a lot. It was only like 200,000 maybe, if that. You know, but how many Hebrew Israelites have died, are dying right now, and will die? Yah said, we are as innumerable as the stars. So everywhere you see suffering, everywhere you see persecution of, of people, you know what I'm saying, those are Hebrew Israelites. People like me, people of color. You know what I'm saying? Over in Eastern Africa, over here in the Western Hemisphere, in North and South America, you know, over in India, you know, people, people the, the lowest of the low, you know, the downtrodden, you know, those could be Hebrew Israelites as well. Because wherever you see the curses in Deuteronomy 28 and Leviticus 26, wherever you see people who match those curses, those are Hebrew Israelites. But not to digress, that's where we are today, brothers and sisters. And right now we're getting ready to wrap up, you know. So now we saw from the first lesson we saw the advent of the gods and this lesson we broke down you know uh, we didn't go into real in depth on all of the gods you know I leave that up to you to further research this thing all I did was lay a quick foundation and we focused in on some of the gods and we showed you just how these major religions are connected you know even the religions of the east quote unquote Hinduism Buddhism and all of that stuff you know I'll give you one more example uh, Alistair Crowley, he was heavy into that stuff over there. He went over, he went over to the east to seek. Uh, as a matter of fact, he communicated with Madame Blavatsky. So they got their information from some of those eastern cultures who, you know, in their own way communicated with the Elohim, as we saw in the video. And if you look, you know, I mean, now we're going into the modern day times. You know, look at all of these rich people now. You got the Beatles. You know, they if you check out that uh, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts, whatever it is, there's uh they have that mural of all of those people. Those are all people who they admire. Alistair Crowley's on there. Alistair Crowley's a known Satanist. You know, a big time devil worshiper. You know, these people. That song that John Lennon came up with. Imagine, listen to that song. Imagine there is no heaven. Imagine there is no hell. Just listen to what they're saying. You know what I'm saying? I mean, how many songs do people sing, I sold my soul for rock and roll? You know, like I showed you before, that guy, uh, Jack Black, at the VMAs this year, you know, in 2009, he was saying a prayer to Satan, throwing up the horns and all of that stuff. You know, look at how far we've gone. I'll just give you a couple statistics real quick, you know. The, the three largest media conglomerates are as followed. You have Disney being the number one, you know, Bob Iger. Uh, John Pepper Jr., Roy Disney, you know, Steve Jacobs, etc. These people are in charge of Disney. Disney is the largest media conglomerate. Secondly, you have, uh, this is as of 2008, these statistics. Secondly, you have the news corporations. That's the second largest one. That's run by Mo Rupert Murdoch, James Murdoch, David DeVoe, you know, etc. And thirdly, you have Viacom, who's run by Summer, Sumner, Sumner Redstone. That's the guy's name. I, didn't, I couldn't remember it before, but that's that guy's name right there, you know. 
Viacom owns, you know, they have some stock in Disney. They own all of the MTV networks, you know, Touchstone Pictures, uh, you know, CBS, you know, all of these different stations. Those are the three largest media conglomerates. They own all of them. So it's no wonder when you look on the TV you see all of this sex because these people have sworn an allegiance to Satan to get where they are. That's why they're as rich as they are. That's why, they're, that's why the bloodlines have remained, you know, since the times of old. You know, these people, they have this knowledge. That's why they wanted to keep it secret. That's the whole secret. They want to keep it from you, you know. And we're going to end with talking about the uh, this black fraternity or this black secret society, quote-unquote black or African-American. It's called the Boulet. And they were started in 1904, May 15, 1904, I, I believe. All right, y'all. I just want to uh, run through this real quick. This is, uh, again, from the book Masonic and Occult Symbols Illustrated. If you first go to page 99... This is uh, that uh, people call it the harmless, you know, harmless meditation, kundalini. I'm harnessing my chakras and all of this stuff. Let's start by, let's start right there. Let's start and read what it says about this stuff. In the midst, uh, let's see, a kundalini yoga sect founded by Yogi Bahan. Again, this is on page 99. This is a sect based on schism, schism, whatever that is, a mixture of Hinduism and Islam, and it teaches both monothe monotheism and reincarnation. Enlightenment is, is achieved within this cult through the awakening of...